Hello everybody, I'm Roto and welcome back to my survival world. I'm starting off my video today at the gold farm. I was just mending up my tools and uh, there's not too much in it right now, but if you check the chests, there is tons in there. I had like nine stacks of gold blocks in there earlier. Took some out to bring it over to my base. But yeah, today we're going to get back to the village project, of course. Going to do some more paths there. Probably going to get some other stuff done as well. Got to get some more houses in. And maybe we might even get some shops. I'm not sure yet though, so no promises. This is my farming district type area here. So I've got like a gold farm, got an iron farm, lots of different stuff. That's the iron farm over there. That's uh, old guy's design. This is Navy Nexus's gold farm. Yeah, it's pretty cool. In the uh, iron farm, I've got a bunch of clerics so I can get the rotten flesh and the gold from here and then I just go sell it to them over there for emeralds it's pretty great I think before we do anything else today I will just get some more paths done because it just because it's an easy thing that I can just grind out and get a bunch done still pretty happy with how this turned out definitely liking the look of the bank and the bridge is decent too no complaints there so yeah I'll go over grab some coarse dirt, some gravel. I have a bunch in this chest here. I brought it all over in a shulker box and then loaded it into uh, the chest so I can use it. One thing that I kind of forgot to do last episode was that on these like little areas here where it steps up a block, I'm going to be putting like spruce slabs or uh, stone slabs and that way you don't have to jump up when you go up it. Because when you have to jump every time you go up a path, it gets really annoying, especially because you use hunger faster when you jump. So I'm definitely going to be adding slabs. I think I have tons of stone here, and I have spruce in here, so that shouldn't be a problem. I think I'll, first I'll just get like a lot of the paths itself done. And then once I'm done, like, a lot of the paths, I'll go back in with the uh, stone slabs and spruce slabs and then go on all of these areas. That's why I purposely made these spots all along this hill. Like I, I built this hill out, this pathway on here, and I made all of them too long, each little step here, too wide. That way I can put a slab on this block, and then it's a full block here, slab, full block, slab, full block, and like that, should go well. But yeah, if it was only one block, then I'd have to make it out of stairs, and it's kind of just too steep for a path, in my opinion. So yeah, I'm going to grab my shovel out of my ender chest. We'll get that going. There's the shovel, and now we can actually get to work on this. I'll start, I guess over here works, because this stretches all the way over to there, so that'll be good. Yeah, let's get this going. So I'm still fairly new to YouTube, like I, this is my fourth video that I've ever uploaded, so I'm still not really sure what really like works or what you guys want to see. So feel free to like tell me in the comments what you think will like make the video more entertaining, if you guys want to see more time lapses or you want to see more commentary, like feel free to tell me because that just helps me make better videos for you guys. So it's a win-win. I make better videos, you guys get to watch more entertaining stuff, so it's all around a good thing. Because yeah, like I said, I've, I've only been making videos for, I guess it would be like three weeks, four weeks now. So any tips help me so much, and it'll just help me make my YouTube channel way better. Completely forgot that I have to add path blocks into these, hold on, I gotta go replace some of the grass so that I can... Uh, turn it into path blocks then the path will actually look finished hold on I'll take out some of these again so that I can put the coarse dirt back but yeah I definitely got to put path blocks in <laughs> good that I caught that every now and then I do need to go and like do a little bit of terraforming so like on this path here you can see that there's a big gap there where I need to fill it in with stone so all I'm going to do, I start from, say, like, down here. This should work. I'll dig down until it's like a flat block. So this will go all the way down to the bottom, I guess. And I just go up. Maybe I'll move to the side. Keep going up. And then you just connect it up with the top. 
I'll make lines like that. I'll make another line over here, probably. Go up. Go to the side. Go up again. And that connects up. If it was a bigger hill, then maybe I would need like more lines to do it with. But with this one, all I need to do is I can just go in, fill this in, and then I can go over here and fill that in there. Come down here, I'll take this out and put some stone in that as well. And just kind of make it look actually like it's supposed to be there. So if we build it up like this, it looks way better. There will be some spots in there where mobs can spawn because it's dark, but I don't really care enough to light it up. Shouldn't make too much a difference because they're trapped in there anyway. So I'm not going to worry about it too much. So now that hill looks like it is supposed to be there instead of just being some weird little thing. Here, I'll fix it up a little bit. There's one block that's annoying me. I don't, okay, this needs fixing, and then this right here can go up, and now it should look good. That's how I fix up some of the pathways when there's a cliff there or something, because I definitely don't want it to look like it's just a weird stone path going over an area. Oh, there's a creeper there, let's take that out. Gotta make sure I don't hit my foxes, that would be bad. I realized that these foxes that I have here, be they could possibly be attacked by wolves if wolves spawn in here, which I don't want because I don't want to have to wait for more foxes to spawn. So I put these walls up around them, but I think instead of putting these walls, what I'll do is I think I have the perfect place to keep them while I don't have anywhere else. So I'm going to move them into the bank. This is much better. They seem to like this corner a lot, which is interesting. This one's sleeping over here. It's funny. You can actually hear it snoring when I go up close. So that's cool. Never knew that. This is the first time I've ever had foxes in survival, and I didn't really play with them in creative at all. So yeah, this is pretty cool. Now that we're done with that side tangent about foxes, I am actually done all of the pathways that I needed to do. So, I mean, of course, I'm going to be adding more later on. I'm not completely finished yet, and, I mean, nothing is final anyway. Like, even, even some of the buildings, I might add detail later. But, now that we're done all these pathways, I can go back in with the stone slabs and spruce slabs, and we can start making it a smoother transition from the levels. I think what I might do is, when there's a gravel block, like, say here, if I want to put a slab there, I'll make it a stone one, and that way I can kind of keep the gray texture going, instead of it all being spruce. Alright, there's a bunch of slabs crafted up, let's hope that's enough for now. And I will make it like that in my hotbar, and now we can just go, and I'll do like that and that, and you can see that it'll just make it so that when I'm running up it, I don't have to jump, and it's just way better. Every time you jump, it makes your hunger go down faster. So if I don't jump, then I don't have to eat as many golden carrots or whatever food I happen to be eating. And there we go. See, just like that. And now when I go up this hill, I don't have to jump a, even a little bit. I can just go all the way up it while running. Way, way better for pathways. I'll get a bunch of these done. And then we can cut back in and I might do a time lapse of building houses or something like that. Alright everybody, I've finished adding all of these slabs to the pathways along here. There's the stone slabs and the spruce slabs. So all the pathways all around the village are done, except for one spot over here that leads up to a guard tower. Now, over here, this is one of the only spots where I think I really, really for sure need to use stairs. Because if I try to use slabs on this, it's just going to mean that the path is way too long and I'll just waste more resources. So we're definitely going to be using some stairs on this one. Here, I'm going to sleep real quick and I will show you how I'll be doing that. Alright, there we go. It's morning now and I will head over here. Uh oh, creeper. Let's take that out. 
Don't want to blow up our brand new bridge. That would be bad. Let's head over here. And since it's really steep, I'm not going to be adding as many path blocks. I'm kind of going to go in with the stairs first. And then I'll add all of the rest of the path materials later. So that I can see what I... Like, a lot of it's going to be covered up. So if I add all of the materials now, half of it's going to be covered up anyway. And it won't matter. So I'll just kind of go in here. We'll start down at the bottom. I'll go like that. And this one can be like a corner or something that can connect up there. A lot of these will be kind of like corner ones because of how the pathway is shaped. And eventually it'll get all the way to the top and then we'll be good to go. And now we can just bring it over here almost at the top. If I have to craft more stairs, that'll be annoying. I think we have enough to just finish it off. I'm not sure though. And perfect, all the way to the top. Only two stairs left, so pretty much got the perfect amount there. And like I said, you can see here that there's very little blocks that I'll actually need to replace with the path blocks. Because a lot of it is just covered up by stairs themselves. So the only place where I'll need to put anything is like here, or down at the bottom, or over there. I think that the last thing we're going to do today is I'll build up probably this house here just like a little shack type thing I don't like really have a lot of time left to get this video out so I think I'll just build up this shack and I'll kinda make it like a smaller house it doesn't have a lot of space anyway I almost feel like I could build it into the cliff but I'm not sure I'm just gonna build that up and then that will be the end of the video Oh, uh, whoops There's the house there. I'm afraid this is probably going to be the end of the video here. I don't have a lot of time left to make it, and I've had a really busy week, so I'm sorry I couldn't get more content this week, but hopefully next week will be better. So there's the house there. Not completely finished yet, but I'll, uh, I'll be finishing that off camera, probably just doing the interior and adding detail. And then, yeah, that's probably going to be the end of the video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun making the pathways and doing all that. So if you guys enjoyed it, please leave a like on the video. It helps me out a lot. And if you want to see more, then subscribe. I upload videos every Friday. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.